Lucky Jeremy's named after his owner, Jeremy Ramsland. Yep. Been training here all along, but this will be his first time racing here. Just talk about how you think you you know the the surface is at any question in your mind in a race versus training and working, which he's been working very well. Over. He trains great over it. Uh, he he's been he's trained here for you know numerous months up to his win at Churchill. He was training here as well, so he's trained well over this track for months and months, and he's used to it. Uh, most of mine train well here. The track's been real good this year. Um, I think it should be a little advantage for us. We've been training here, so. You took him a long way. You took him to New Mexico for a couple of races. They ran very well in both of those. One, the, the first one. Yep. And then was third in the Sunland Derby. Talk about the decision to go west with him. Uh, the owners, uh, so Jeremy Ramson lives out that way. He actually lives in Scottsdale, Arizona, and they race a lot at uh, between Turf Paradise and uh, Sunland Park, New Mexico. Um, uh, he likes racing out there and uh, it was his idea and I said well why not let's go so um, we had I went out for both races um, it was more fun winning the first one uh, but we had a good time the second time he ran a good race too so we had a good time out there and the horse uh, got a little more seasoning under him against some decent horses and uh, here we are back home how long have you been thinking about the Jack Ruby with this horse um, well, I mean, kind of ever since he broke his maiden at Churchill. You know, I didn't know if he's quite this good or not, but of course we had hopes since then. You look at his brisk speed figures and stuff, and I mean, and this horse really fits. I mean, he fits with not just these horses, but it seems like the other three-year-olds. I think so. Those numbers, uh, surprisingly, uh, well, surprisingly or not, the numbers coming out of the New Mexico race are good numbers. Uh, they were fast races. I think the horse that beat us in the, the Sunland Derby seems like a very legit horse of Phil D'Amato's. Um, I think they were good races, and again, it got some good seasoning under him. And so how much are you thinking about May 4th? <laughs> I'm thinking about March 23rd right now, you know, and that'll, that'll uh, guide us where we go from here. But of course, we're hoping to hit the board, maybe have a shot at the Derby. But uh, even if he doesn't, uh, we have, there's a, plenty of other derbies to go, but uh, we're hoping for the big one for now. This race, I, I mean, this race and this meet, Turfway Park in general, is getting better and better quality every year. I've been here five years now, and uh, it seems like the meet gets tougher every year. So, but I'm happy to be here. It's a, it's a great it's a great place to race. What about the field overall? Um, the favorite will be endlessly. Yeah, he's proven on the synthetic. He's a he's a win ho type horse. What's he won? Four races or whatever. He he likes to win. He's a good horse. Uh, he's the horse to beat, no doubt. Um, but, uh, you know, I think it's a pretty evenly matched race otherwise. I think there's a lot of solid horses in here that might be coming into our own. Hopefully one of them's up. I mean, the one good and nice thing about our horse, too, is he did win at Churchill. Uh, it was sprinting. It was only the second race of his life, but he, he ran good over the track. So that's, a, that's another perk for us. You mentioned you've been in, you came here five years ago. Talk about just, just in the last five years of change in the Kentucky circuit. Right, right. Well, um, you know, I tell everybody this story, it's getting a little old by now, but I actually came here in 2011 with a horse named Positive Response and we got beat by Animal. We won the Bataglia that year and we got beat in the then called the Spiral by Animal Kingdom who went on to win the Derby. And uh, like I said, this story might be getting old. I've told it a few times, but I went home to California and all those guys asked me, how was it back there? And I said, never go to Turfway Park in the middle of the winter. I said, it's freezing cold. The purses are low. Everybody's uh, in crummy moods. Well, fast forward, you know, 11, 12 years now, and we are literally fighting over stalls here. I uh, mean, not fighting, but we're, is very competitive for stalls here. Everybody wants to be here. I'm, I'm happy to be here. I'm glad we got established here. And uh, it's a great place to race in the winter. Because 2011, that fall, was when Kentucky Downs brought in historical horse racing. Uh -huh. It was actually that year after yeah. we gone through that. Yeah. You're right. The, the, I mean, the purses were awful and yeah. probably hadn't hit rock bottom yet. Here yeah. No, it was, now. it was quite a different circuit then. Uh, we, it was fun to come back uh, then, but it's a lot more fun now. Yeah. And you're glad, though, you got your got in when you did it's you said, it's the this uh place during the winters is about as tough a ticket to get a stall anywhere it's very competitive it it makes for good racing i do think that their stall limit of 25 here during the winter actually makes for more competitive racing um it's a little tough when you have more than that but you just got to make a decision and and it makes it a fair level playing field for everybody it makes a good meet where do you have your other horses are they in lexington uh, i have them at ttc now i did take a, a small string to tampa this winter We've done okay down there. We've won a few races um, at Tampa and at Gulfstream, um, but I'm focusing on Kentucky. We'll be bringing those back and we'll be in Kentucky all summer. TTC's another place that's getting hard to get stalls. Uh, very hard, yeah. To, I was there when I first came back here, going back, and then I left when they demoed the old barns and built the new barns. 
since they've had the new barns in, it's been a very popular place to be. Um, it's, it's owned and managed by Keeneland, so that's a big perk. Keeneland spends time and money on that track and keeps it in good shape. So it's a great place to train too. Hard to get into as well. Lucky to be at both places.